Hey guys, uh, so today's haul. I know videos have fallen off that schedule I tried to keep together in September. However, for the month of October, it's just gonna be two videos per week total. One main channel, one gaming channel, until after Yomicon. Because I still have three outfits to finish. Now this is gonna be a long video, so I'm just gonna go through boom, boom, boom. Things I picked up because I liked them and they were cool. And as well, I got some wigs in here for Yomicon and like cosplaying coming up. If you want me to do reviews of them and go into detail why I have this many wigs and what I'm doing, whatever, uh, just let me know in the comments that you want me to make a separate wig cosplay related video on either my main channel here or my side channel. I will do my best to cater to you for that. So without further ado, let's get started. Wig wise, uh, I bought this wig. Uh, for Chiaki, non, or Nanimi Chiaki uh, from Danganronpa 2, I do plan to cosplay here one day, but it's not going to be at Yomacon. But um, needs to be restyled a little bit, but uh, due to the shipping, but I do like it. Uh, it's a really nice color, exactly what I wanted, and I think it's perfect for me. Also from Danganronpa 2, which I am cosplaying at Yomacon this year, most likely Friday, I'm doing a female version of Nagito Kamada. And I decided to go with a wig that had a little bit of pink undertones because you can see it in the artwork that it does have kind of a pinkish fire, uh, like a fire related kind of look to it as the description I saw in the official art book or somewhere on the internet. Um, it's supposed to be all white with little dark hints of pink, but I decided to go with this for a female version. Um, so yeah, I just need to style it. And I just really like the fading in it. Um, I think it works really well with what I plan to do. I ordered a Sailor Moon wig, um, and it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. It came like this. Uh, the nubs were like this, stuck on with bobby pins. And I like the fact that the ponytails were clip-on, but it just wasn't what I wanted for her. So what I ended up doing is let me get that up there so it doesn't fall perfect I ended up reordering a black lady wig from the same seller I bought from last year and again I was not disappointed I will put their description below see this is what the nubs are supposed to look like the ponytails at the bottom are perfectly curled and perfect um, I didn't take care of it the first one I bought the way I should have but I will with this one so I'm very very happy with this wig. Let's go into figures and plushies next. So I did get this Super Sonico figure because I was gonna cosplay this outfit of hers at Yomacon. I decided to change it due to materials not being able to find the right color green for her jacket. But um, I really love this figure of her. Uh, this cute little white skirt and a microphone and a shirt and a jacket and a all that really 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 happy about it but because I was gonna be cosplaying her I already did um, get the headphones I got these off eBay to be quite honest with you if you're gonna make supersonical headphones or cosplay her make them yourself I bought these off eBay for $20 and they weren't the best quality that I expected so I am gonna be adjusting these a little bit uh, fixing them up to make them a little more polished but um they're not bad for a base set uh, but generally, I just recommend making them yourself. Look up a tutorial on YouTube. So with that new limit on Amazon, I always try to hit $35 so I get free shipping so I feel like I'm getting more for my money. I ended up getting this HD My Splitter. It's the View HD. I highly recommend this one. Uh, this you can use to break the encryption to go through it on your PS3 and your PS Vita TV, and as well your PS4, I've heard in some cases. Um, so you can do straight HDMI gameplay recording. Um, highly recommend this one. This is the one that a lot of people say is the better one, and like I plugged it right in and had no problems being able to record uh, straight from my PS3. So I got that, and to hit the $35, I also got this Sailor Moon figure, the Girls' Memories Fan Presto prize figure. I'm just now only missing Sailor Jupiter. Really excited about that because I need to have the main five and now I'm like really close in the camera. Hi! I'm so not creepy at all. And then I also did get the Sailor Moon GE Animation plush uh, because you have to have a meatball head in your Sailor Moon plush collection or a button head, whichever way version you prefer to call her. I got this Sailor uh, Mini Moon figure, and it was really nice about this one, it also comes with a little Luna P, it's really adorable, so if you get this, I don't know, there's like no little like indentation in the stand to put it, so I mean you'd have to be really careful about, it's 
I feel like it's really easy to lose that Luna P. And I did finally go out and get the Link Nendoroid figure. Uh, I got this off a Mia Me, and I also pre-ordered a Sailor Moon Crystal figure that should be here soon for October, and uh, the Majora's Mask Link Nendoroid. I also pre-ordered him as well, but I've really been wanting him. I'm really happy about finally getting him. And I styled him to where um, he fell off here. Hold on, give me one second. Um, I thought, I'm just one of those people, I like silly things, like, and being silly and posing silly. So if you see my any of my Instagram selfies or any selfies that I post, I can't, it's very hard for me to be like that sexy and silly and try to look good thing. I try to do as silly as possible because it just feels awkward to try and look good. So anyway, I thought it'd be funny to make Link like he's a grumpy Link. So he's like mad about getting his heart or something. I thought it'd be a lot more funnier that way. And it's just, I think it's adorable that way. So I really am very happy with this figure. Also from Toys R Us, when these things got hot for a little bit, uh, a lot of people were talking about this in the Amiibo trade group on Facebook. Uh, they're the 8-bit plush from Nintendo. I got this at Toys R Us, 8-bit link. You know I had to get them. It's very, very stiff. It's more display than an actual plush. To, like sleep with or have on a couch or something so it's more for like decoration on a shelf but uh still highly recommend them if you see fit as to picking him up i'm really happy about it i ended up getting a game boy advance for literally less than eight dollars taxes included under eight dollars at the salvation army i didn't see it until after i bought it that the plate battery cover was missing so i have to buy a new one on ebay and I Personally, for me, I have to get a genuine one. Otherwise, it just, I have to have a genuine one. The person inside me, the obsessive, compulsive collector person in me has to have a genuine one. And I'm just like kind of mad at myself. And I'm just like, I'm looking at the prices. And I'm like, it's going to cost me $8 to get a genuine GBA battery cover when I paid literally less than that for the whole dang council. But, you know, you know, internet prices, I guess when you need specialty things like that. But I mean, it came with the batteries and it works. So very, very happy. Also to go with my Super Sonico cosplay, um, I'm probably gonna still wear this with my Super Sonico, even though on her figure that I'm currently now doing, she doesn't have this necklace, but um, it's her signature guitar necklace uh, with the stars on it, as you can see here. Uh, I really like this one that I got because of the fact that this is, these are beads, it's not the actual metal. So if you know from certain metals, it can leave like that blackish, greenish, bluish residue on you. Um, so with the beads like that, it's not going to do that as far as I know. Um, I haven't worn this yet, but I just think it was definitely worth the money I paid for this. And it was really nice and well done. And it also comes with a really nice box as well. Um, definitely really cute and decorative and adorable. So I really highly, highly recommend this for looks right now. If you want me to do my test of it um, at Yomacon and get my thoughts on it, I will definitely do that. And of course, I went to Amiibo hunting uh, when they released. However, I actually pre-ordered them all on Target and they all came in, except for Olimar, um, didn't come in day one. But um, So I ended up buying an extra one of him on release day. I will be giving him away as well with Sheik at 3,000 subscribers. So um, you want an Alomar? I will be giving him away at 3,000 subscribers or 1,000 followers on Twitter, whichever one comes first. Um, but yeah, so I did get Zero Suit Samus, uh, Bowser Jr. And it actually very, very well done with Toys R Us's uh, stock on that day. Very, I had no problems. A lot of people in line were really worried, but um, we all did fine and got our figures. Uh, then I have my Omar that I have opened here. And then as well, 8-Bit um, Mario. And then Dr. Mario. And we could see me make sure he's focused or looks alright. But um, And the thing is, I live so close to Canada. I mean, I'm not like that close to Canada, but like me driving to Canada would be no problem at all. Oh yeah, Ganondorf. Can't forget Ganon. Can't forget again, and, and oh my gosh, the, the, the look at that. That's just such beautiful detail on his cape. But anyway, as I was saying, I live so close to Canada that I could easily just drive over there, buy a modern 8-bit Mario colored single one by itself, and drive back over here. 
but I figured I'd just wait for his single release um, eventually, which will happen probably toward the end of October or in November. So I'm not that concerned, but just... <laughs> Nintendo, please stop with that exclusivity stuff. No one likes it. It benefits nobody except scalpers that buy your product and make a profit off of them reselling. So please don't do that anymore. Thank you. That I know my cries may seem fangirlish, and maybe they may seem a bit self-absorbed, or not self-absorbed, but just crybaby-ish. I really don't care, because I'm just logically saying nobody, especially the consumer, likes exclusives. So please, take off. I'm really good, glad that you took Lucario and Shulk and them off being exclusive, so thank you for that, though. Very appreciative. And thank you for the restocks as well recently. People are happy about that. I also got the Mario... There's a cosplay hair. Uh, I also got the Mario Cube, Rubik's Cube, uh, Puzzle Cube, whatever you want to call it. But picked that up because why not? I like little knickknacks like that. And last but not least, games. I only got two games last month. Um, just Super Mario Maker uh, when that came out on the big Amiibo day. So, you know, got the box. Did an unboxing of that in the Amiibo in a video. I uh, got the art book, and if you don't know, even if you bought the digital edition of Super Mario Maker off the eShop, you can contact Nintendo and get a physical booklet, and then uh, the actual game itself. I played a little bit of it. Um, I love it. I know people want me to play more on my gaming channel. I promise to do my best, uh, but you know, I will be doing more of those videos very, very soon. And then the other game that I got, uh, I got this off of NIS America's website because I got the limited edition, um, Ultra Despair Girls, Danganronpa, another episode. Um, very, very in love with this game and this series. Please get into it. Please support it. The English dub of the first season of the anime is coming out in November. And the first two episodes are actually on Funimation's streaming service right now. I did watch them. And some of the characters, the only returning voice actor from the games, uh, I forgot his name, I think it was Bryce, um, who does Makoto Nayagi's voice. And even in the anime, I feel like it's a little bit of a different vibe than what it was in the game. I think the voice actor that does uh, Manokuma is Greg. I honestly like it. It's gonna take me time to get used to when I played the English version and I've just been used to a different voice, but I really like his voice. Um, and some of the others are gonna take me a little bit to get used to. Um, so I'm definitely giving it a try because I love the series and I wanna make sure to support it any way I can. And then in the special edition, it also come with, comes with Kirokuma's tie. It comes with a little pin set, which is um, in the game. There's the little kids and it's kind of their pins. Um, they are the Warriors of Hope. And it also comes with the pin for Kirokuma as well, because it says Warriors of Hope and Kirokuma set. And then as well, it comes with an art book, which gives a art details if you ever want to cosplay any of the characters. And then um, soundtrack and the game and I went through this game in less than a week um, I absolutely love this game it felt a little slow at first but after the second boss fight it picks right up and just the ending is just like the biggest mind twist like my brain I was like I stayed up playing it until like 4 a.m. when I was at the very end uh, playing it. and I was just like oh my gosh but it's such an important part of the story in the Danganronpa universe because it takes place between the first game and the second game, um, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and then the second one, Goodbye Despair. Although I highly recommend playing it in order of the game release because playing the second or the playing the Ultra Despair Girls before you play the second game, uh, definitely gives away some spoilers for everything even if uh, just yeah highly recommend playing it in the order of trigger happy havoc goodbye despair and then ultra despair girls uh so please give that game a try you can get a ps vita tv ps tv really really cheap at a good deal so please give that series your money it deserves it 
such a good series, great humor. I can't say enough about it. I'm I'm cosplaying two characters at Yomakan this year. I'm doing um, a female version of Nagito Kamada, and then I'm also doing a special version of Junko. I'm doing a crossover of her with another anime series. Um, I am giving little hints on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, like posting my cosplay progress day updates and pictures so yeah check that all out in the description below to my social media so as always you guys comment down below tell me the things that you got because i always like reading and just connecting with you guys in terms of like let's all talk about the things we love to collect because we're all collectors of something people like to collect makeup people like to collect games figures anything and let's just all talk about how much we love to just feel good about something and put our money towards something that makes us happy like a video game franchise or you know a, you know it's just video games and just anime things that take us away from our problems for a little bit maybe while we're watching them or make us feel good when we cosplay them and just like I don't know I just like to connect with you guys and talk about this stuff because it makes me feel good to talk about people to like talk about this stuff with people because when I was younger I was into this stuff I didn't have many people to talk about it with so I'm really glad I have you guys now and my voice is starting to give out so I should probably end this video soon thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video bye